Hello, uh, this in its original case is the latest addition to my camera collection. So let's get it open. Didn't expect, I, I hadn't even read the listing on eBay properly, so I didn't even realize that this came with its original case. It even has a an original piece of paper inside that would have been inside on the day when this arrived showing you how you can use the case to store the camera, film and other accessories. I love little details like that. I never expect to have something inside from something of this vintage. And you can see there's straps there so you can put your film there. But we'll get to what the film is it takes later. This and I've been jonesing after one for some many years is a Polaroid SX70. Now what makes this different to quite a lot of other Polaroids, particularly of its period, is it's an SLR. This is Model 2, uh, which means I've been able to thin its datage down to somewhere between about 74 and 76. This on top, I'm not quite sure if it's leather or it's an artificial leather, but it's all very much worn away over the years. But it was originally a, it was originally that colour. It was originally a dark brown. Now this opens up in a rather unexpected manner, like a a bit like an old bellows camera. And it literally does have bellows, and so it ends up being that shape. And as I say, it's an SLR. And to use it, the viewfinder is there. And you're looking, because it's SLR, straight through this lens here. And also unusually for a Polaroid, not only do you have quite a high quality lens, the only Polaroid I've ever actually used to take photographs, I used in black and white because it had a rather cheap plastic lens on it. But you can actually focus this. So I can turn that. And currently I'm focused on the camera I'm shooting on right now in front of me. There's a degree of focus. I wouldn't say it's a massive amount, but you can certainly focus it. And fine-tune the focus with that. Oh, unless I'm getting it wrong. No, I think that one's the focus, actually. Yes. Yes, that is the focus. So I can, in fact, focus right in on the background behind where I'm filming from. Or I can focus right in on the foreground on this camera that I'm pointing right at me right now. And you can still read the original text on the back. Polaroid SX-70 Land Camera, Polaroid Corporation, Cambridge, Massachusetts, made in the USA. Use Polaroid SX-70 Land Film, Flash, use Flash Bar. And yet, there is a connection to a flash bar. And a flash bar was a set of uh, disposable flash bulbs and you would plonk it in place there and they'd get used up one at a time and then once they were all used up they were gone. Now uh, this thing is in, despite appearances, surprisingly good condition for its age. As I say it's from somewhere between 74 and 76 it's a little dusty. The lens seems to be in good nick. The viewfinder, the, the, the optics inside seem to be in good nick. The bellows seem to be in good nick and they're not letting any light in. And so it's other little secret is you can press this little button down the side and this happens. And inside here is albeit used an original film. So that gives you some idea what the films were like. This is an SX-70 film, but uh, the research I've done in the past few days reveals that this will indeed, there's another view of it, with its flap down, this would indeed take um, 600 film, which was the final film that Polaroid produced. 
And so, yeah, I was investigating things like, well, I've discovered where the film is on this, where is the battery on this. Turns out, this is also the battery. So you put that back in, you close that up, that is a working camera. And I have investigated this further, you can buy 600 film, because there is still interest in Polaroid cameras, and in fact amongst the fraternity there is a company out there called The Impossible, Com the Impossible Company, who produce something called The Impossible Camera, and it's a brand new camera but it uses 600 film and I think even to do that project they had to ensure that 600 film was still in production and so yeah this will theoretically speaking given a film still work said film is quite expensive not ridiculously so but for the amount of photos you get per film which is about somewhere between 8 and 10 which was often a problem with instant film because as you see you've only got so much room in there for all the photographic paper and everything has to be self-contained with these and once you take the picture then yeah that would pop down and it would roll out here and then you would have to wait for it to develop or as the song says shake it like a Polaroid picture although I'm advised that shaking it does not necessarily speed up uh, developing so yeah I am seriously considering in fact I will get some film for this because as I say it's in an unexpectedly good condition and I'll do a follow-up video where I'll take a photograph quite possibly wasting one of those valuable pictures that are somewhere between 8 and 10 per film and I will take a photograph and we can see live uh, how long it takes for them to develop so bye for now